Welcome back. Now, please watch the Thank you.
Pues... A ver. Why do I have to? Don't come back. Why do I have to? Don't come back. Why do I have to? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't come back. such an authentic bathhouse all the way out here. What a pleasant surprise. Now that I think about it, it's probably the principal's doing. I heard this place was changed a lot when they renovated it into a dormitory. Apparently, it was once the mansion of a fallen noble family. Ah oh yes, I've heard that same story. It seems the family had to let go of their holdings ten years ago after the head of the family was conned by an unscrupulous merchant. Though I heard they've since started up their own business outside the country. I see. Sheesh. How do you know all this stuff? 
Hmm, I feel like I've heard a story like that before. I haven't. I haven't. Not just her. I'll be joining you ladies as well. Uh, uh, whoa! An overwhelming presence. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry we've been hogging the bath. Oh, not at all. I figured now would be a perfect chance to get to know my students better. We'll try not to rain on your parade. Oh, there's nothing like a nice soak in the bath after a long day. Seems like you girls were having quite the discussion in here. You all trying to get with Schwarzer? Get with? Yes, that's the plan. That wasn't quite what we were talking about. Well then, let me give you all some advice. He may seem polite and friendly, but he can actually be pretty single-minded and at times outright stubborn. With that in mind, the best way to get your hooks in him is to set up just the right mood and lure him somewhere where you have the advantage. R really? Interesting. Huh. For stubborn men, you need to set the right mood. <laughs> Be sure to take thorough notes, Elise. Muse, please! to tell you a little about the Hexen clan. What? And the two sisters, Emma and Vita. They were the youngest members of a clan hidden away from the world at large. Vita lost her parents when she was young, but due to her immense natural talents, she was taken in by the elder as her top disciple. Meanwhile, Emma's mother was what we refer to as a stray witch. She lived among the common people. However, she lost her life in an accident. Emma was also taken in by the Elder, and the two girls were raised together like sisters. 
the Elder created a familiar for each of them. Me and Grianos. Vita was uh, full of talent and spirit, me, uh... but Emma was a shy shut -in. They both grew into strong, noble witches, and they would have lived a peaceful life in the village, but... At the age of 16, Vita volunteered to become a wandering witch. A wandering witch's job is to go to the outside world and report back to the village on new developments. The Elder sent her off with full confidence, but within half a year, she had vanished. We now know why. The Grand Master of Ouroboros got to her. She joined that den of snakes and abandoned her duties as a witch. The Elder regretted her decision to let Vita leave the village. It wasn't the first time she'd seen this happen, after all. But Emma was devastated by the disappearance of her sister. From that day, Emma began training and studying as hard as she could with one goal. Become a wandering witch herself to bring Vita back. And so, Emma was permitted to leave the village at the age of 16. With the help of some yeah. stray witches, she was able to enroll at Thor's with a scholarship. And in the spring of her first semester, she met you guys. I'm not supposed to talk about this sort of thing with outsiders, but by this point, everyone in Class 7 is pretty much family. Emma had to work hard for the Elder to okay this. Tell her yourself. You'll be seeing her again before too long, right? And that'll do it for tonight's show. Good night, everyone. <laughs> As for you two, don't stay up too late. You need your beauty rest, Celine and Reed. Huh. What an obnoxious woman. I'm sure she predicted we'd be listening and used her magic to ensure only we could hear that last part. Huh. 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 Yeah, Emma's no slouch, but Vita's power as a witch is tremendous. That said, she's not omnipotent. After all, Osborne pulled the rug out from under her and now she's on the run from her former friends. Yeah, and about how she failed to change the ending. It must have something to do with the Infernal Castle. Vita's personality may be one big joke, but she's not the type to lie. There's no doubt we have a crisis looming over us. Yeah, consider it a farewell gift. Even though you need to rely on that pendant, you'll be able to control your power now. I'll leave with your sister tomorrow morning. I suppose the next time we'll see each other is when Class 7 meets up. Hell no! Huh. 